nice and new for this one is all of my procedures that I need to do over the period of the harvest and also next year is in this list as you go through these ones here. So starting right at the very beginning here, at regular intervals, the quantum meter learning process and the engine speeds, those are the ones that need to be done on a regular basis. So certainly once a week minimum. The other ones, when changing your front attachment and then each season, etc., as you go down, there's a lot more. Maintenance recorder. This one here, if I click on that one, it actually tells me what jobs I need to be doing through my 50 hour service maintenance. There's the 100 hour, there's the 250 hour. These are all the procedures that need to be done. Once you've done them, then you press the little arrow there and that'll reset the timer back to zero to start again. Okay, so that is the actual maintenance record itself. The other one, just a quick one there, you saw that in machine itself, speeds. Once you've driven your machine for a, for a good day or two, it'll also be a good idea to come in here and learn all the, all the speeds again. So this is all the shafts within the machine. And by learn, doing that, what you've done is you've uh, relearned the new speeds because there's paint, etc., on the pulleys and this will all have been rubbed off and everything would have settled down. So good idea is to come in here with everything running just learn all the speeds to make sure that all the speeds are set up just right so that we don't end up with any belt slip warnings that come up, that can come up if you actually get a belt slip, etc. The other part of the machine here, all of this thresh mechanism, separation, cleaning, etc. Those we don't need to go into because we can access them through there through there, through there. We can also access them on the, on the actual armrest itself. That is the menu that we actually go into when I access, say for instance, the rotor speed. I go in there for the rotor speed and if you look here, if I click on there and I go into separation, there's my rotor speed in there as well as my monitors if I want to turn them on or off. So there's just a few other things there. So the monitor here, the sensitivity here, I can do it here or need be, I can do it down there. Click on there and I can change the sensitivity. So I don't necessarily have to go right into the background into those main menus to set them up because there's more than one way of going into the menu to adjust it.